Hey guys, don't worry about me, I'm okay. We're here at Universal Orlando for a preview of this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. Now we're going to interview some of the creative heads of the event and also find out how this happened to me. Let's go check it all out. So this year you guys have some really unique IPs as well as original houses. Can you tell us a little bit more about them? Uh, yeah, most definitely. We're very excited about all the IPs we brought to the table this year. Um, Halloween, a AVP, I'm a science a fiction geek so I'm really excited about that one also. Dust Till Dawn from El Rey Network. Um, we also have, um, let's see, I mentioned Halloween. Oh. Dracula Untold, huge, uh, amazing costumes in that one. The scenic's amazing. And also uh, Walking Dead, the biggest house we've ever done. So I'm very, very excited. But I'm also really excited about the originals too. Dollhouse of the Damned is one of those houses that is going to live with people weeks afterwards. They're going to be having nightmares about that one. Very, very creepy. Roanoke, Lost Cannibal Colony. And, uh, oh, yeah, and then we also have um, Giggles and Gore, which we're rehearsing tonight. So lots of gore happening tonight during rehearsals. Awesome. And Alien vs. Predator is one of the classic properties. Can you tell us a little bit about how that was brought to the event and which part you're most excited about? Um, last year, I was working with Mike Aiello on the event, and we had the werewolf puppets, if you guys remember those. And so I went into Mike's office and said, Mike, please, we have to do some aliens. we got to do some predators. And he's like, you know what? You're exactly right. And he was, I was thinking the exact same thing. So it was one of those moments where we we're like, really? You were thinking the same thing? All right. And so because of the success of the puppets, we f thought we could bring them. And, and they look amazing. They look amazing. So very, very excited about the rent. And Fox was great, too, because we got to create our own original story around it. So we didn't have to necessarily replicate um, a plot of one of the movies. We could create our own plot to it. So it's a lot of fun. So this year brings the return of Scare Zones. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? We are so excited to have four very uniquely different environments and scares and just complete zones. Um, it kind of started with the fact that we really wanted to partner with Face Off and Sci-Fi, and we really wanted to partner with The Purge. Um, and those two partnerships anchored at each end of our park we wanted to then create two original pieces anchoring the opposite ends of the park. So that's where Scare Zones came back and we were so excited, like I said, about them. Face Off in Hollywood couldn't be more perfect. It fits Hollywood. There's going to be five gorgeous vignettes that house ten different Face Off characters from the last seven seasons. What's going to be great about it is those Face Off characters are going to be so horrifyingly beautiful that they're going to set up the perfect distraction for a scare. The Purge in New York, it just was perfect. Um, we started creating The Purge before the, we got any assets to the, the movie that came out this summer. We had to think, we're like, what would happen if The Purge hit the streets, right? What we were super pleased about was what we had come up with. Some of it was in the movie. We were like, yes, we hit it right on target, right? Um, so when the movie came out and we saw that there were moving vehicles, New York was just the perfect place for that. We have a big landscape of, of ground to cover, so moving vehicles and motorcycles and all that stuff fit perfectly in New York. Um, plus it's in a very aggressive zone, we can have lots of people out there just killing, 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 purging all night long. Um, with our two original contents, Bayou of Blood, we started off with the concept of we wanted to sacrifice someone during Halloween Horror Nights. So what more perfect way to do that is to bring this voodoo queen to Halloween Horror Nights where she is wanting the universe, the evil that's out in the universe, and how she can get that is to sacrifice a human right in front of all of these people. She's not really doing it as a show. You're happening upon her making the sacrifice for herself. Um, Masquerade Unstitched 
again, very uniquely different that it's very surreal and macabre a little bit. It's kind of like this very grotesque dance. These people are stitching themselves together and when people enter into their labyrinth, they rip their skin apart. They go a little bit crazy. Um, as you're going to see all these heads inside this big candle, those are their victims, which you are a victim when you enter into their world. So we're very excited for the four different scare zones that we're bringing to Halloween Horror Nights 24. So that's our preview of this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. Now one thing we didn't get to show you was an exclusive sneak preview we had of the Halloween House. It was amazing staying true to John Carpenter's original film. Now if you guys want to come out and see all the terror for yourselves, Halloween Horror Nights run select dates from September 19th through November 1st.